I'm doing own voice over soft music. Professor, so this is your new classmate, Era. Hello, everyone. I'm Era. I hope we all will become friends. Go and sit beside Yan. Yan, raise your hand. Yan was sitting while staring at her boyfriend lovingly, who was staring at Era with a cold, angry face. But her movement got disturbed when Professor called her. Yeah, sir. Yan raised her hand, and Era came and sat next to her. Well, I am Era. I am Yan. Can we be friends? Yan thought for a while, and she find Era a quite good girl. So, yeah, sure. Thank you for being my friend. Yan and Era came to have their lunch, but Yan's eyes were searching for her boyfriend, and a small smile formed on her face when she found him. Yan, come, Era. Let's go and sit there. Era nodded her head and followed Yan. Cook, Yan called him, and he turned around with a cold face. But his cold face turned into angry one when he saw Ira next to Yan, and his fist tightened over the spoon he was holding. Ira said, "And me, this is Jungkook, my boyfriend." Yan said with a sweet smile and loving eyes, which shows that she loves him more than anything in. This whole world, but her eyes didn't saw the way Era and Jungkook were seeing each other. As Era is looking at Jungkook with an apologetic eyes and Jungkook with an angry eyes, but Era's heart got broken when she heard Yan calling him her boyfriend. Well, I am Era. Nice to meet you, Jungkook. Era said just to initiate the conversation with Jungkook, but Jungkook just banged his hand on the desk and angrily left the cook. Yan shouted, but. Jungkook was long gone. Well, I'm sorry, Era. He is just a cold person. Don't mind him. Yan said while Era know that he she is the reason of his coldness and she will try her best to remove that coldness. At Yan reached home, Jungkook and Yan goes college and come back separately, and went towards their bedroom only to find Jungkook coming out of the bathroom with a towel wrapped around, and the water droplet dripping from his hair, and the Full of display, which made Yan draw over him, and a sudden of him aroused in her body, she saw she went towards Jungkook, who was now back facing her while drying his hair with another towel, and back hugged him. Cook Yan called him. His body froze at the moment when Yan touched him, which he never felt with his eggs, and his heart beat raise, and a pink tint appeared on his cheek, which never ever happened with him. But all these thoughts vanished away when he felt Yan. Yan stopped. Jungkook said and removed her hands from his body and turned around to face Yan. What are you doing, Yan? I clearly told you that I am not ready to have any relationship with you. So please, Jungkook said and went towards his closet to dress up, leaving a sad Yan alone in the room. Why am I not enough for you? Yan thought while a drop of tear left her eyes, and she immediately went to shower to calm down her mind and body. After a long shower of crying and calming herself down, she stepped out of the bathroom only to find Jungkook in deep sleep. Well, what can I accept from you? Sometimes I feel like I made my worst decision of life by proposing you at first place. Yan sighed and went to bed and laid herself next to Jungkook and slow fall asleep while hugging him, which Yan always do when Jungkook fall asleep. Yan, today I should try something else. Every day I look cute, so let's try this one. Yan said while putting on a well-fitted dress which shows her perfectly and her well-feminine body. Today I'm feeling. By just by seeing myself, Yan smiled and did a little makeup and went downstairs. Jungkook was using his phone when he heard a sound of heel, so he frowned. Has Yan never wear heel? So who is it? He thought and turned around just to see a gorgeous angel Yan coming. Well, he knows that Yan have a, but she never show it to others. Always wear baggy clothes, which wasn't his style. But today, she became his perfect idol type. Cook well. I will be late today, so don't wait for me and have your food on time. Yan said while Jungkook was busy checking her out by licking his lip. He was feeling too a right now and there, but a realization hit him. She never wears something like this. Is she seeing someone? Is she going on a date with someone? Etc. Thoughts started roaming inside him, but all his chains of 
Todd's broke when Yan peeked his cheek and went out. I'm gonna be late, Jungkook said after realizing that he was still dreaming about Yan and got late for his class. May I come in, sir? Jungkook asked the professor as he was late. Yeah, come. He went inside, but his eyes were searching for one particular person, and when he saw her, his eyes turned dark in anger. What happened, bro? Why are you staring at Yan like this? What is Jack doing with her? And why the she is laughing with him? She never laughs, nor even smile for me. Then why he? Jungkook backfired, Jimin. Well, you never treated her like the way he is treating her now. So of course she will also treat him nicely. There is no point of you getting angry. So you clearly mentioned me before that you don't love Yan. Jimin said, bringing back Jungkook to reality. But no, but just stop with your drama. And I literally hate you for using Yan as a replacement for Era. And I heard Era is back. You might be happy, right? That now your ex has come. Jimin bitterly said to Jungkook, who was deep in his thought. Yes, Era is his ex who cheated on him three years back. Jungkook was so in love with her. He believed that he loved Era, but she was just his crush. That he even forget about himself, his friend, his family, his everything. He always makes sure to stay with Era 24-7. And at some point, he was knowing that Era is cheating on him and using him. But he was so blinded in his first love and... His long-time crush that he ignored those negative feelings and was about to propose Era on her birthday by giving her a grand birthday party. But Era herself came and told him that she was using him and is stealing behind him, which made Jungkook heartbroken. After that, he shifted to this recent college and every girl were behind him, including Yan. Also, but something in Yan made Jungkook to accept her proposal even without a second thought, which he himself doesn't know why he accepted her. But to convenience his friend, he said that he is using her as a replacement for Era, which he clearly knows that he is lying. He never kissed Yan nor have any relationship with her, even though he wants to every time Yan made him, but he controls himself because he thinks that it will not be fair and feels like he will be cheating more on Yan if he touch Yan. Jungkook came back to reality when Jimin called him. Cook, come, the class is over. Ah, uh, Yan. Jungkook frowned and looked around only to see the whole classroom empty. Where is Yan? She already left, maybe in cafeteria. Jungkook didn't wait for Jimin. He immediately left to cafeteria. Well, Yan, are you single? Jack asked out of nowhere, which made Yan flitter, as not everyone knows that she is taken or dating. Jungkook, because they never showed any type of skinship or any couple-like moment. Ah, uh, yeah, no, she is taken by me, John Jungkook. Jungkook said, which made Jack embraced and Yan proud, as it was the first time he was saying something like that. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you both are dating. Now you know, so you better stay away from my girl. Jungkook also don't know what actually happened to him and why he is behaving like this. Where Jimin and Yan were happy as they now Jungkook loves Yan, but he is blinded by his ex behavior and his own ego and now jealousy is clearly visible in him but era was not liking it and she decided to take some actions immediately to make jungkook hers again jungkook where is she jungkook was waiting for yan to come he is immediately patient, impatiently waiting for tapping his feet on the floor but all the happy scene of yan and jack were coming to his mind did yan fell out of love with me is she fed up with me my cold behavior will she leave me all the thoughts were roaming in his mind when the door opened and yan came inside only to get a shock as jungkook was waiting for her which never happened in the months they were dating cook what are you doing here at this night you should have slept well yan i was waiting for you to have dinner yan was now happy yeah sure i also didn't eat anything come i am hungry yan said and a small smile appeared on jungkook's lip oh my god you made all this yan asked jungkook after seeing food on the table yeah i wasn't sure what you like so i cooked mine favorite hope you are okay with it i am fine with anything yan said and sat on the chair and jungkook sat next to her and started eating but jungkook was staring at yan to read her facial expression to know whether the food is good or not it's good cook i never know who you can cook thank you jungkook said with a small smile and rest of the dinner went by yan talking about her day to jungkook and him listening to her like every other 
day without any complaints but this time he was getting frustrated by his own jealousy because yan was keep on talking on about jack and his joke which made jungkook jealousy and yan was enjoying his jealousy state after dinner yan cleaned herself and laid on the bed she was very tired because she has a project to do and that made her late to home and also very tired whereas well my was talking a lot about other man in front of her boyfriend i think now it's the time to show her who she belongs to and who own her jungkook shrimped after wrapping himself in a towel and sprayed a light fragrance perfume to smell good for his girlfriend because today he decided to make yan completely his by making love to her and proposing her to be his girlfriend as today he realized his feeling for yan which was hidden behind the fear of again getting heartbroken but not any more because he know yan will never cheat on him and he believes her way more than anything well let's go my princess might be waiting for me jungkook smiled and shrimped at his thought of how he is going to make love and all the things he is going to do with yan but all his thoughts and smile disappeared when he saw yan already asleep seems like my baby is tired and slept okay we will do it another day jungkook said and went inside the bathroom to clean all the lighted up candles used to decorate the bathroom and the bathtub filled with water and rose petals which he prepared to have a romantic vibe in the bathroom to use after there to clean yarn up After cleaning the bathroom and wearing a nightwear he lay next to Yan and pulled Yan towards him and put her head on his chest and hugged her tightly and went to sleep after picking her forehead Yan woke up only to find Jungkook in hurry and also he was wearing a new outfit and he was looking attractive and handsome because he was smiling today which Yan saw for the first time ever after she met him Are you going anywhere Yan asked him as today she was weekend and usually Jungkook never leave the house on weekend Yeah I have a very important thing to do Oh, Yan was about to ask more, but Jungkook left immediately without waiting for Yan's reply. Maybe he got import something important. Yan said and went to bathroom to freshen herself. When she came back from the bathroom, only to find the bedroom a mess. Has Jungkook's things were lying here and there? What important thing is that he even forget to organize his things? Yan asked herself as Jungkook is a well organized man. Yan arranged all the things and went towards his bedroom to keep the things. At that time, she found a small box. She frowned and got curious to know what is in there. So she took the box, and went to their bed and sat to open it. Wow, it's so beautiful and cute. Yan. said a lot of beautiful pics of jungkook let me take the pics of this yan said and took her phone to capture the memory but a pic catch her eyes isn't it era and jungkook yan's eyes got teary now she started joining the puzzle in her brain the way era was looking at jungkook and also jungkook at era and the most important thing jungkook started to change after era came and more about today he left the house in such a boyfriend look clothes as if he was going for a date no jungkook can never do that yan said and hardly left the house to meet jimin to ask him and clear her doubts as she can't just judge jungkook just by a pic Yan was walking more like running towards Jimin house but on the way Yan saw someone familiar more like two person the one Yan trusted the most and loved him to the moon and back while the other one Yan thought will be her good friend but no everything went wrong and suddenly Yan saw Era hugging Jungkook but Jungkook didn't hug her and the next scene Yan saw made herself run away from there has era pulled back from the hug and cup jungkook's cheek and started leaning her face towards him while jungkook was standing still so yan can't see his face as he was back facing yan yan ran because she can't take the scene of jungkook era so she ran away but jimin saw yan running as he came from shopping and happened to see yan standing still staring at someone and then suddenly she turned and ran away without noticing that a car is coming in her way jimin yan watched out jimin shouted but it was of no use the car hit yan yan Jungkook came back home way more earlier than he thought because he called Yan a million of time but she didn't picked up his call so he furiously entered the house and then to their share bedroom only to find the room empty and there lying Yan's phone on bed 
Jungkook, where did she went? Forgetting her phone. No way. Did she went out with Jack? If you went with him, I will definitely so hard that you will ever, never ever think of any other man in your entire life. Jungkook got jealous at the thought of Hyun with other men and was about to go to bathroom. Where the ro- doorbell rang and he went towards the door with a smile to open it, thinking it might be Yan. But his smile faded away when he saw Yan with a fractured hand and a bruise on her forehead, and Jimin next to her. What happened? Are you okay? And why didn't you inform me? Yan, it was just so sudden. And yeah, I'm fine. Yan said in her cold tone and left Chungko. with Jimin and went to the room what happened Jimin she met with an accident i saw her in front of grocery shop and a car came and hit her and i was there so i took her to hospital you should have called me i would have come to hospital uh, i was about to call you but yan said no so i didn't and well i'm happy that you got your ex so And now I humbly request you to leave Yan before you hurt her even more. Jim Jimin also coldly said to him, and he ordered the prescription. After giving the prescription of Yan to Jungkook, Jimin left without listening to Jungkook, as Yan already told him everything while they were in hospital. What he meant, Jungkook thought, but hap- what happened to Jimin? But he left all this thought when he realized, leave it. Let's go to Yan. She needs me now. As he entered the room, he found Yan coming out of the bedroom, and she ignored him and laid on the bed and closed her eyes. Yan, are you okay? Do you need anything? He wordly asked, but Yan didn't respond. Rather, she covered herself more into the blanket, and Jungkook thought she need to rest, so he left the room, even though he was hurt by Yan's cold behavior. But decided to talk later. He entered the room with a tray of food and placed it on the nightstand and woke up Yan. Yan, get up. You need to eat. Yan woke up and tried to sit straight, but she wasn't able to. So Jungkook tried to help her by holding her arms, which she. Don't touch me, Jungkook. Jungkook felt as someone stabbed his heart as she never denied his touch, and also she called him by his full name, but he ignored it. Yan, don't be stubborn. You can't sit without anyone's help. Jungkook said, and Yan realized that he is right, so she let him help her. Here, open your mouth. Jungkook said, and after sitting next to her on bed and taking a bit of food and spoon and trying to feed her. My right hand is fractured. I can still use my left one. Yan said and harshly took the spoon from his hand and tried to hit with her left hand, but she failed. Yan, don't behave like a kid. You have to take medicine, and also you can't eat with your left hand. Just let me feed you. Jungkook said and started feeding her, which she ate without any reaction and eye contact with him. After eating, Yan took her medicine and started using her phone, totally ignoring Jungkook, which made Jungkook very hurt. And he realized how much he hurted Yan by his cold behavior. Yan wanted to shift to her apartment, but Jungkook doesn't allow her, as he said that she needs his help at this time. A week passed by. Jungkook was getting more close to Yan and trying his best to make up for the time he didn't treat Yan the way. She should be treated. He always was with her, and he made sure to utilize each and every single second of time in taking care of her. He always made her favorite dish, dessert, took care of her. He even skipped his classes and took a month leave from college just to take care of her. And slowly, he was loving Yan more than he do. But Yan was still the same, always ignoring him, giving him short reply, just like a yes or no, and sometimes just a um, which made Jungkook sad. But he thought that he. Deserve her this treatment, even if he doesn't know for what she is behaving like this. Yan was totally ignoring him, as if he is not with her and is invisible. She doesn't even spend time with him, even if he fools her. Jungkook was preparing the bathtub for Yan to shower like every other day, even if Yan says no to him and says that she can manage by herself. But a glare of Jungkook was enough to make her mouth. And she let her do whatever he wants. Jungkook, Yan, baby, the tub is red. Jungkook said while approaching Yan, who was sitting on the bed, but he halted on his step when he realized what he called her. But he wasn't regretting and decided to continue calling her baby. Whereas a pink tint appeared on Yan's cheek by the new name, but she immediately turned her head towards the other side, and Jungkook shrimped after realizing his effect on her. Jungkook played, carried Yan to the bathroom and made her stand on her feet and started 
to be continued in Instagram. Link is in the description. So Jan placed her hand on his chest weakly to push him but he didn't even bulge. Rather he made his hold on Jan's waist more tighter, leaving Jan with no other option to push him with all her strength, resulting in a groan from her mouth due to the pain from her fractured hand. Jungkook stumbled back, worry was clearly written on his face. Yan, are you okay? Did it hurt? Jungkook came close to Yan to see whether her hand was okay, but she only pushed him away, being not able to bear both the physical and emotional pain. Why you care? You never did it. Then why now? Yan coldly stated, making him freeze on his spot. What? What do you mean, baby? I care for you, baby. Why would you say that? Yan sarcastically laughed, hearing the word baby. Oh yeah, baby, really, you know what, Jungkook, I still don't get it. Why would you date me if you were never over her? Jungkook looked at Yan, taken aback by the mention of his ex. Do you know how it hurts when the only man I have ever loved this much doesn't give a about me? To see her photo even now, you never care, Jungkook, you never will. You must have forgotten that I had ever existed. Why the do you put... A show now, as if you care for me. Yan leaned on the wall, holding her chest. By now, Yan was completely broken down. Jungkook also had tears flowing out of his eyes to realizing what ma made you think all these days. It was those photos. You know what, Jungkook? You were the biggest mistake of my life. You used me and now you wanted to use my, like the man you are. I regret every decision I made for you. You don't deserve any of that because you are a... Loser who don't have a heart, Yan said, empathizing each word pointing at him. Jungkook couldn't hold it back anymore, so he broke down to realizing each word Yan said was true. I hope I never get to see your face ever again. Have a great life, Yan said, and grabbing her clothes before slamming the door shut behind her, making him shiver in fear and guilt. He had never seen this side of Yan's and never wanted to either. Yan, listen to me, it's not what. Jungkook mumbled, too weak to get up and stop you. His cries grew louder and louder, slowly getting up to stop Yan. But it was too late, Yan was already gone. Jungkook ran behind Yan, stumbling on the way, and ran out of the house to search for Yan, still crying. Yan huffed in pain. Yan didn't know where she was going and what to do. Hair a mess, nose and eyes, legs hurting from all the work. Yan was a mess now. There was a guilt of hurting Jungkook and seeing him in tears made Yan's heart clench, but she thought it was correct. Yan was just walking when she bumped into something hard and she looked up to see a familiar pair of eyes which made Yan's eyes slightly white after seeing the person in front of her. What are you doing here? Yan spoke softly but he heard. I have to ask that you, you. What are you doing here and why did you look like this? Are you okay? What happened to your hand? Oh my god. Stop Jack. Let me speak first. Yan jiggled seeing his eyes stuck on her fractured arms. Yan told him everything how her hand ended up like this. Why she couldn't attend the class for a week. Look long and also told him about what happened today because he could be trusted with it. Sorry for your heart broke, Jack said to control, comfort Yan. Well, I came here to meet my friend, but I will meet him some other day. Now we need to go to hospital for your checkup, Jack insisted. No, Jack, I'm fine, Jan opposed, but Jack didn't listen and forced her to go to the hospital and Yan followed him as she had no other option. Well, she is fine, nothing to be worried about. Thank you, doctor. Come, let's go, Yan. Where? To my house. Yan accepted Jack's offer as she didn't want it to see Jungkook's face. Jack drove to his house while driving. He kept talking and catching up with Yan, which made Yan a lot better in Jack's presence. He always understood Yan and had Yan's back in Yan's rough time. He was a good friend of Yan's. Um, you can go take a shower. I will get you some of my clothes. Yan nodded her head, feeling nervous weirdly. Yan took a warm shower, which made her relax and forget about the event that happened today. She changed herself into Jack's outfit, which were twice as big as hers, and then she headed to the living room to see what Jack was doing. 
She saw Jack cooking dinner which made Jan smile at his genuine gesture. Jan was about to go towards him and help him in dinner, but she tripped on the carpet and was about to fall but a pair of hands quickly hold her waist which made uh, uh, both Jan and Jack to fall together on the floor. Both of them were in weird position. Jan quickly tried to move away but Jack instead held her in place by grabbing her nape to make her look into his eyes and leaned his face towards to Jan's too. Jungkook was looking for Jan like a crazy man and a fear of losing Jan forever made him more insane and crazy, unable to find Jan. Where are you Jan? Please come back to me. Jungkook shouted and grabbed his hair in frustration. He was crying less and all the people around him were giving him a weird look but he cared less as only Jan is in his mind. Jungkook called Yan a thousand of time, but she didn't pick up her call. Due to all this pain, Jungkook passed out on the road. Jungkook opened his eyes and groaned in pain. Jungkook, ah, oh, my head really hurting bad. Then Jungkook looked around to see himself in his room and his upper body was. He was only in his sweatpants. At that time, the bedroom door opened, revealing Era. Jungkook, what are you doing in my house? Jungkook asked while trying to sit straight on bed, which made Era come back towards him to help him. Era, wait, let me help you. Era said and hold his arm to support him, but he offers and don't touch me. He said and sit straight and pull the blanket up to cover his body. What are you doing here? Did you change my clothes? No, I didn't. Then who? At that time, the door opened, revealing Jimin with a tray of food in his hand. Dude, what they are you doing? Were you trying to huh? get up and eat? Jimin healed after seeing Jungkook up. Well, tell her to leave. No need. I'm going. Era said and left the house. Jimin sat next to him and told what happened yesterday. Well, yesterday Era saw you lying unconscious near the road. So she immediately called me and asked me to come quickly and then we took you here and changed your clothes. So she didn't enter your room but she just came to see whether you are up or not to give you medicine and food. I think all your doubts are clear, Jimin said and Jungkook said. Thanks, Jimin. And also, do you know where Yan is? Jungkook asked Jimin about Yan because Yan and Jimin are best friends. So Jungkook thought maybe Jimin will know about her. Sorry, I don't know where she is. Hey, how you forget? Check her location. Jungkook's eyes widened and he immediately got up from the bed, randomly wearing a t-shirt and took his phone to check her location. Jungkook at first drawn seeing the location has a place is for rich people but he ignored it and went to the place. Well, Jimin thought that Era and Jungkook are back after what Yan told him on the day she got accident. Therefore, he let Era come with him to Jungkook's house as still no one knows the truth. Jungkook stood in front of the door where his phone showed the location of Yan and rang the bell. I'm gonna squeeze you in my arms, Yan baby. Just come out and you will see, Jungkook said and impatiently waited for Yan to open the door. The door finally opened and Jungkook's eyes widened in shock after seeing his love rival Jack and Yan together and what hurt him the most is Yan and Jack's outfit which gave him a wrong picture whereas Yan looked perplexed seeing Jungkook and her eyes widen and there Jungkook can see guilt in them but Yan quickly broke the eye contact. What are you? Is he? Are you both? Did you? Jungkook shuddered, not being able to think anything. Yes, it's exactly what you are thinking. I don't like you anymore and it would be better if you let me leave alone and leave me in peace. I'm sorry, but I guessed I realized my feelings for Jack a few weeks ago. Yan said and slapped the door on Jungkook's face. Jungkook stood there processing everything. As one part of him wants to believe Yan word but one part doesn't. He don't know what to do so he immediately went from there to meet his soulmate. Who the hell is disturbing my sleep? Jimin groaned and went to open the door of his apartment only to find a mess Jungkook. Cook, what happened? Jimin, she left me. She cheated on me like Era. What should I do? Who? Yan. What? Yan can never cheat on you. Jungkook, no Jimin, I saw with my own eyes she in Jack outfit. Well, you should be happy right now. You can go back to Era. Jimin, what are you talking? You kept on saying this. 
Do you know how her hand fractured? I asked her, but she said it was just a small accident. A small accident? Well, Jimin said everything how Yan saw Jungkook and Era after she found Era's pick. No, Jimin, it's not like that. About the pick, I never know I had them. I was just a teen in hormones. I too forget that I had a pick. I never meant to keep her pick and I don't even need anything of her. And I never checked the box again and about I didn't her. Jungkook actually prepared a beach date for Yan. That's why he looked happy in the morning and left earlier and was going back to home to take Yan to the date and propose her. So while going back, he thought to take Yan's favorite coffee. So he was on his way to Jung Yan's favorite cafe to buy her coffee. But Era stepped on his way, but Jungkook ignored her and was about to go from the other side. But Era held his wrist. Era, well, Jungkook, we need to talk. No need. I don't have anything to talk with you. Please, Cook, don't call me Cook. Era, okay, fine. I know you are using Yan as a replacement for me, but you are hurting her, so why don't you leave her and come back to me? I still love you, Jungkook. Jungkook chuckled. Well, you are right. I also thought that I was using her as a rebound. But no, actually, I was in love with her all this time, which was hidden by the pain which you gave me. And Yan totally made me forget you but you know what i wasn't in love with you it was just a teen hormone at that time i just find you attractive that's it and i was knowing that you were cheating on me and one day you will break our relationship so i wasn't that much hurt when you said that you let's break up because i know this will come someday but now i'm not in pain anymore because all the pain is being washed away by the love and care yan has given me and now i decided to love her back with my everything so you better don't come in between our relationship otherwise there will be no one worse than me i can even you if you can come in between me and my baby jungkook split it out and anger was clearly visible in his eyes but era suddenly hugged him jungkook move aside before i do something forgetting that you are a girl jungkook warned her and she stepped back in fear but she held his face when she saw yan in a distance to create misunderstanding she started to lean forward but jungkook pushed her and slapped her tight which made her fall on the ground i told you be in your limit jungkook said and went inside the cafe to call himself down before he goes to yan but yan already saw and went away running without seeing the whole scene oh my god you should have at least cleared the misunderstanding when yan told you about her pick i was about to but yan left me i love her i love her so much why would she do that i know i am the worst person ever but i fell in love i showed her lots of affection a few months ago but i didn't think that's her fault she's an angel jimin and i hurt her all the time maybe that's why she left me jack must be obviously better than me i felt this the day i saw her laughing with him but i never knew she also loved him i was jimin for making her feel unloved i have liked her since the beginning of our relationship i was just late in realizing that i miss her a lot it's been weeks since i craved for her love i guess i'm never gonna get it I just can't live without her, Jimin. I can never move on from my young. Jungkook said while crying badly and cleared all the feelings he has been hiding in him from weeks and Jimin felt sorry for him. Yan was resting in her apartment when she got a message from Jimin. Yan, please look into Jungkook. He has been locked up in the house for a week. Please, I am worried about him and now I am not in place so please look after him. Yan signed without knowing what to do. Yan went to their house, used a spare key and opened the door and went inside just to see complete silence and darkness. She went towards their shared bedroom and saw Jungkook sitting near the bed with a bottle in his hand, his face totally red and swollen and eyes swollen, having dark circles clearly showing that he didn't sleep for a week and he was a complete mess. Cook, stop drinking, Yan said while sitting next to Jungkook and looking at the room. It was a mess covered with numbers of bottles. Yan, baby, you came, I just missed you, Jungkook said and Yan hugged Yan and started crying. I'm sorry, Yan, please forgive me. Please, I will not repeat my mistake again. Please give me a chance. Please, I will treat you like a queen. Please, Yan. 
Jungkook said while crying more louder. Stop crying, Jungkook. No, Yan. First, tell me you forgive me. Yeah, I forgive you. Yeah, Jungkook pulled back when he heard Yan forgive him. What he saw was a cold face, Yan. So he thought Yan was simply saying it. Don't make me a fool, Yan. I know. Yan cutted him off by. At first, Jungkook was taken aback, and then he pulled Yan more into him. He knew that Yan will not cheat on him, but the situation he saw Yan with Jack made him think twice. But now he went, he confirmed that Yan didn't cheat on him. Jungkook was aggressive, and he pulled Yan into his to deepen the. But Yan pulled back. Cook that day. I knew you won't cheat on me. Jungkook said while still hugging her side lips, and was about to kiss her. At least let me tell. Okay, fine. After that, you aren't stopping me. Well, that day he told me he loves me, and I was about to, but I denied his proposal and stopped him. And I say that I still love this bunny. And the next day, I was about to leave his house early in the morning. At that time, you came. You with error flashed in my brain. So in anger, I told you all that things. I wasn't in my right mind. I didn't mean any of the words. I shouted. I was blinded by anger, and also I thought it will be, if I will be gone. You can get back with error. Yan cleared all her parts while Jungkook was listening to her like an obedient kid, while holding Yan tightly, who was still. No, Yan, I didn't have any feeling for her. I only want you and you only. You know, I was so happy that day. I planned a date for us and called you millions of times, but you didn't pick up my call as you broke your hands. And that day, Era, Yan cutted him. I know Jungkook. I heard everything you said to Jimin as I was outside the door of Jimin. Actually, when you left Jack's house, I also left from there and thought of seeing Jimin as at that time only he was there with whom I can share my pain. But when I reached his doorstep, I heard you crying and saying all this, and I came to know that you also loved me. But then I decided to give you a little punishment, so I stayed away from you a week. I love you, Yan. Please give me a chance, and I will be a better boyfriend for you. Please, Yan. Yan nodded her head. You better keep your promise, otherwise I won't mind to leave you this time. Jungkook, I will, baby. But now, can I please? Yan looked at Jungkook, who was staring at her lips lovingly. For further part, see my Instagram page. Link is in the description. Jungkook fell beside Yan and kissed her forehead. Baby, you made a mistake by coming back to me. I never gonna leave you in my entire life, and also never let you go by yourself. Yan jiggled at Jungkook's statement and wishing he could always be like this forever. About Era, she got literally scared of Jungkook as he slapped her very hard, and also she came to know that Jungkook loves Yan truly, so he will not even think twice to. Era, if he she came in between them, so she decided to leave Jungkook and Yan and left the college. And also, she helped Jungkook on that night. Has sorry for playing with him in the past. After a month, Jungkook, baby, get your over here. Jungkook shouted when he lost the warmth of his love. Jungkook removed the bedsheet in frustration and harshly opened the door and went towards Yan, who was making lunch in the kitchen. It was the weekend, and Jungkook just wanted to cuddle with Yan all the day. Jungkook kept his promise as he became the best boyfriend a girl could wish for, and Yan, she was still the same. And thus, their life is going well with a new version of Jungkook, who was uh, clingy and sweet to Yan but cold to others. And not to forget, he got. With Yan and ended up with her daily. Jungkook, I asked you something, baby. Jungkook said while entering the kitchen and back hugging Yan. What happened? What my bunny wants? Yan said, asked while turning around and hugging him by his neck and giving him a peek on his nose tip. Jungkook blushed at Yan's kiss. Well, bunny wants more kisses here, here, here. He said while pointing his lips, shakes head. No, I'm busy making lunch. Yan said and was about to turn around, but Jungkook held her waist and picked her up and made her sit on the counter. Yan, cook not now. I'm still because of your yesterday's punishment. Yan said with a cute pout. Well, who asked you to tease your 
Jungkook said and started peeking. Uh, Yan which turned Jungkook on and the next moment Jungkooks were on her and the next thing she knew she was over the kitchen counter. The end. Thanks for watching. Bye.